Just when I thought Perplexity couldn't get any better, they dropped Perplexity Labs. And honestly, it's like a significantly elevated version of their already amazing deep research feature. With one prompt, Perplexity can now create charts, build helpful dashboards for you, and generate assets I never expected. So in this video, I'm walking you through exactly how to use labs using real examples that will help to save you time, give you way more clarity, and even make your work look more professional. And by the end, you're gonna see research in a completely different way. All right, so let's start with the basics. What exactly is Perplexity Labs and how do you access it? If you head over to perplexity.ai, you're gonna notice this new light bulb icon right here. That's your gateway to labs. Now here's the key difference. Regular perplexity searches give you quick answers with sources. Deep research gives you more comprehensive reports. But labs? Labs creates entire projects with charts, graphs, dashboards, and visual assets. Now, when you click on labs, you're gonna see these suggested prompts that get you started. These are based on things that I've been interested in in the past, or you can start from scratch with your own prompt. And just so you know upfront, Labs requires a Perplexity Pro subscription plan, which is $20 a month. So it's not available on the free plan. But honestly, after you see what it can do, you'll understand why. So for our first example, let's say you're thinking about launching a direct-to-consumer focused beverage as a coffee alternative. Think competing brands like Mudwater or Magic Mind. You wanna understand the market, find gaps, and position yourself strategically. With deep research, you get a solid report but watch what Labs does differently. I'm gonna give it this very detailed prompt. Act as a senior market research analyst specializing in the direct-to-consumer beverage industry. My business is considering launching a new focused beverage as a coffee alternative, et cetera. Your mission, analyze competitors, identify unmet needs, research emerging trends, and suggest opportunity angles. Now, what I love about this prompt is it's giving labs a specific role, clear objectives, and asking for actionable business insight. This is how you get the most out of labs. Treat it like you're briefing a professional research team with years of industry experience. Look at this. It's not just searching. It's actually showing me the tasks that it's completing in real time within the tasks tab. You can see it's gathering data, analyzing customer sentiment from Reddit forums, researching ingredient trends, and creating strategic visualizations. Now, just a heads up that it can take a little while to do this research, usually around five to 10 minutes based on my experience. So just hang tight or grab a coffee and let it do its thing. Wow, this is amazing. Truly unbelievable. It created competitor comparison charts. Look at this. Customer pain points pricing strategy insights, ingredient analysis, and market positioning. Look at this pain point chart. Amazing. Looks really nice. And then at the end, it has the recommended strategic positioning for this specific company that we're trying to create, Clarity Brew. And it has all these different opportunity angles that we could use, which is super insightful and very useful. Now, to give you an idea of how big of a deal this is and how much of a step up it is from the regular deep research, I'm going to show you what the exact same prompt would have given us if we had done deep research instead. Now, looking at the deep research report, it's still very useful. You've got the competitor landscape analysis, which is helpful, ingredient profiles and really good information, but no charts, no graphs, and no visual elements. So that's what makes labs so amazing. Labs gives you presentation ready assets that can literally be dropped into a PowerPoint presentation. This research would have taken me weeks to complete by the time I research competitors, analyze Reddit forums, create professional charts, and even format everything for presentations. Take forever. And labs did that in eight minutes. Now that we have our first project completed, it's the perfect time to walk you through the powerful tabs that make labs so special. Each tab serves a specific purpose and gives you different ways to interact with your research. Within the labs tab, this is your main workspace where you're gonna see the final report with all the visual assets, charts, and comprehensive analysis that it's generated. This is what you're typically going to share with somebody else, which I'll show you how to do later. Now within the asset tab, this is where all of your downloadable content lives. So your charts, graphs, images, and data files, and you can export these assets and use them in presentations or reports. And then you have your tasks tab, which is really cool, which we saw before, where it shows you all the things that it's doing and thinking through before it actually generates the report. And then you have the sources tab, which is very much like the regular perplexity, which shows you all the sources that labs use to generate the report. And here's what's really powerful. The fact that you can actually export everything as a PDF, a markdown file, or even a Word document, which I'll show you how to do towards the end of the video. 
Now let's get into our second use case to see how Labs handles a completely different type of project. Now for something that'll blow your mind as a content creator. And I know many of you watching are. And as someone who struggled with content ideas myself, this dashboard would have saved me months of guesswork when I was first starting out. Let's say you run a YouTube channel about personal finance and you wanted to create a dashboard to identify trending topics and find content opportunities. You could give perplexity a prompt like this. Act as a content strategist and data analyst. Your mission is to design a dashboard that helps content creators identify trending topics, understand audience questions, and find hidden gem video ideas. This dashboard must use only publicly available data from sources like Google Trends, Google Search, and public YouTube data. Then it gives it more information here, like uh, the widgets that we want to have, what types of charts we wanna have, what the niche is and things like that. And what's incredible about the prompt I'm using is that it's not just asking for research, it's asking labs to design the actual structure of the dashboard, specify what data sources to use, recommend chart types, and create a framework for the content planning. And I worked with AI to come up with this prompt. And you could do the exact same thing. Now look at the task tab. This is what it's actually doing as it's thinking through what it's gonna do for the research. It's identifying questions that millennials have about finances. It's analyzing trending topics and financial keywords. It's generating sample data sets. Like it's walking through all these different things that it's working on. Now I wanna actually show you what it generated as a report. It's pretty amazing. Take a look at this interactive dashboard that you can actually click on and do things with. It's super, super neat. You can see that on the left, there's a keyword tracker. So it's actually tracking over the last 90 days what some of these you know, four different keywords were doing. Breakout search terms on the right-hand side which is awesome. And then it has audience insight and competitor analysis. So it ha has a list of the different questions that people are actually asking, which tells us what good video topics would be. And then at the bottom, there's actually a button that says generate video ideas, and it comes up with a bunch right here. Super cool. And then you have the rest of the report within the labs tab, which has so much good information in here, if you're in this niche. Now, because this is more of an interactive dashboard, you're gonna see that there's an extra tab that wasn't there before with the first use case that we did which is the apps tab. So when you click on that, it's gonna bring us right back to the dashboard, but just so you're aware of what that new tab is, it's for when there's an interactive part of the research. So if you're a content creator, this is huge. Instead of guessing what to create next, you actually have data-driven insights about trending topics, audience questions, and untapped opportunities. Now let's try something completely different and creative. Let's say you needed to create a mood board for a luxury men's cologne brand. Normally you'd spend hours browsing design sites, saving images, and organizing everything. Watch how Labs handles this creative challenge. I'm gonna give it this detailed brief for Nocturne, a luxury men's cologne brand with specific keywords, confident, mysterious, luxurious, timeless. All right, so I'm gonna give it this prompt. Act as a brand strategist and visual designer. Your mission is to create a comprehensive and inspiring visual mood board for a new brand. This mood board will serve as a foundational guide for the brand's identity across platforms. And I'm giving it the name of the brand, keywords are that I wanna use, confident, mysterious, luxurious, timeless, the audience, and some other information about what type of things I wanna have in this mood board. So I want the logo, the color palette, some photography, some packaging, and some social media ideas and let's see what it comes up with. I'm excited. All right, our research is ready. Let's take a look. Wow, that looks very, very sharp. I really like that. It's got the typography, so you can see some of the fonts that it's come up with, which look really good. Then there's the color palette that it used. Not bad, not bad. And the photography, which look very editorial, which is exactly what I said in the prompt, so it followed the instructions very well. Look at the packaging, the packaging looks sharp too. And then it gives some inspiration for what the website could look like too, which is really great. I personally think the results of this are amazing. Like it did such a fantastic job. Exactly what I asked for. The same color tones, the same mood I was going for. Really great. This is exactly what you'd pay thousands of dollars for a branding agency to create. To me, this is truly a must try for anybody who's in the creative field, designers, marketers, content creators, and business owners. Now, once you've created this amazing research, you have some great options for how you can download, export, and share the information. At the top of the screen where you see the three dots, just click on that. You'll see that you can actually add it to a perplexity space, which if you're already familiar with perplexity, 
It's like a separate folder where you can keep things organized, similar to a project within ChatGPT or Claude. You can also convert your research document to a page within Perplexity, which is almost like a blog article style document that you can publish and share with other Perplexity members and people you know. Then we get to the export options. What I love about this is that you can actually export this as a beautiful PDF document, or you can export it as a Word document so that you can make edits directly to the text immediately without having to do any copying and pasting. Now, if you want to share a lab report that you generated with somebody else, then you would just click on this share button right at the top right hand corner of the screen and then you're going to copy the link to share it and you're just going to paste it into a text or an email and you're good to go. Now as promised I'm going to show you how to download the assets that Perplexity Labs just generated for your project. So to do this you're going to click on the assets tab and then to the right of the screen you're going to click on download all and now you can see I've got a zip file with everything in there. So you can take the charts you can put them into a PowerPoint presentation if you want to and you have lots of flexibility here. Remember that content analysis chart that we did? If you liked any of the charts from there and you want to download individual charts as opposed to all the assets, you can just click on the charts like this and then click download as well. So you have the option to download all the assets or whichever ones that you actually want individually. Now, before you go grab your device to test these out, there's a few things that you should know. Now, just an FYI that if you're on the pro plan, you get, according to Perplexity's website, 50 lab queries per month. And that includes any follow-ups to existing threads. So if you follow up in a conversation, that would be considered one credit. And also just a quick reminder that anytime you're using a deep research function like this, you're going to want to check the sources to make sure that they're credible and just double check some of the information, especially if you're relying on it for big, important decisions. Because of course, AI can make mistakes. But as a starting point for your research, data visualization and strategic planning, perplexity is amazing. I think labs represents where AI research is heading, not just finding information, but transforming it into actionable insights with professional presentation quality. And if you're still on the fence about upgrading to the paid version of perplexity to get access to this tool, honestly, the output is shockingly good for a $20 per month tool. If you enjoyed this video, then please show me your support by hitting the like button. It really helps the channel. And if you want to know more about how you can use AI every day, then click this next video.